The examination of the foot and ankle starts off with examining the gait. So ask the patient to walk, looking to see if it's a symmetrical gait. And the patients are walking normally, striking the heel first and pushing off with the toe. And that's perfect. Then we look from the front and we're looking to see if there's any abnormalities. Start at the knees, working way down the leg and looking at the ankle to make sure that the position and symmetry of the foot and ankle as it's placed on the floor is normal. In this patient, we can see an abnormality in the first MTP joint, which is one of the commonest foot problems called a hallux valgus or a bunion. Looking at the other toes to make sure they're all normal and also feeling underneath the arch to make sure it's a normal arch, not too high. If you can get your foot hand all the way under, that would signify a pescavus, a high arch. If you can't get your hand underneath at all, that would be a flat foot. Turn the patient round, ask them to stand. Does their heels sit nicely on the floor and are they symmetrically aligned? Slightly in varus, that's normal. If there's any valgus deformity, that, to, uh, that would signify a possible problem or rupture of the tip post tendon. And ask the patients to tiptoe, looking at the hind foot, and they should turn in a little. As they do here, that's completely normal. We then carry on the foot and ankle examination on the couch. Firstly, we palpate and start off with the first MTP joint. So feel the big toe and feel over the dorsum of the big toe and feel around the toe to see if there's any tenderness. Feel over the side of the big toe as well and then work your way along the other metatarsal phalangeal joints and palpating just underneath the head of the metatarsals to see if there's any tenderness. This would signify metatarsalgia and just in between the metatarsal bones to see if there's a Morton's neuroma. And if there is some tenderness, you can check this by squeezing the foot together. This is a Mulder's squeeze test for a Morton's neuroma. While we're here, just feel down to the calcaneal tuberosity and put a finger here to see if that's tender to test for plantar fasciitis. We carry on the examination over the top of the foot feeling away over the front of the first MTP joint and then onto the tarsal metatarsal joints, the midfoot to see if there's any arthritis here, feeling, look at the patient to see if there's any pain. Sometimes it's possible to feel an osteophyte here and just working away up on the medial side, the talonavicular navicular joint, see if there's any tenderness here. Then we feel the ankle joint by starting at the tip of the fibula, working away over the ankle joint itself right round to the medial malleolus to see if there's any tenderness. We're then going to check the ligaments of the ankle, the lateral ligaments, there are three, the anterior talofibular ligament, calcanofibular ligament and the posterior talofibular ligament and palpating to see if there's any tenderness or depressions here. Put the f bend the knee up, put the foot onto the couch, stabilise the foot and then just pushing backwards on the tibia, this is the anterior anterior draw test of the ankle to see if there's any laxity and then lastly testing the tibialis posterior palpating along its course of its tendon as it runs behind the medial malleolus to see if there's any tenderness onto its attachment on the base of the foot and then the test the power of the tibialis posterior put the foot into plantar flexion and ask the patient to move the foot medially pulling to see, testing the power and comparing to the other side. That's the end of the foot and ankle examination.